Good day everyone, I am Prisa Macy's Perala and today we are going to discuss about the difference between the traditional and the 21st century learners. We will be guided by an objective in discussing the lesson. Differentiate the rules of student in the earlier years and in the 21st century. So this time, let us examine the difference between the, the traditional learners from the 21st century learners. First, Receiver of facts and information. So traditional education is defined as teacher-centered delivery of instruction to classes of students who are the receivers of information. Teachers focused in giving out information about what is known as the dispenser of knowledge, while the 24 students are the active creator of knowledge. There is more emphasis on how we come to know. Students are more involved in the construction of knowledge through active implement. The more interested and engaged students are by a subject or a project, the easier it will be for them to construct in-depth knowledge of it. Second, learning is based on repetition. The student know what skill they are lacking in and focusing on doing activities that will help them build the skill. This can be learned as learning by repetition. While the 21st century learners are the interactive knowledge instructor. Why? Because students learn by connecting new knowledge with knowledge and concept that they already know where they negotiate, understanding through interaction and varied approaches. Hello everyone, this is Christine Joy D. Devero. Next is textbook users. Students in traditional education is most likely to depend on books in acquiring knowledge in a subject matter, and textbooks are the primary source of all their learning. On the other hand, the 21st century students are internet users to access best of information. Having technologies at their side make them more advanced in information where they do not need to have a long distance walk just to access information from the books in the library. Almost all information and tools they need are already at the palm of their hands. They only need to access internet rightfully and appropriately. Next is traditional learners are passive recipients of interpretation. Before, the students depend so much from the teacher when it comes to learning. They listen passively to the discussions. They only speak or answer when they are asked. While in 21st century students, they actively engage in class activities. They use as practice or hands-on in order to learn. Indeed, students learn best by doing. By providing ample hands-on opportunities, students can be engaged in active learning. Hi everyone, this is Isel May A. Saumat. And next, in the students of the early generation, it encourages higher level of competitiveness among students. Sometimes called individualistic learning, the competitive classroom is the more traditional form of learning. Students study alone and complete their own assignments while trying to learn the presented subject matter. Tests and quizzes measure each student's progress and letter grades or percentage are given for both assignments and tests. In this type of setting, Students may become competitive with each other for the best grades and for your or for their recognition. While in the 21st century, students are collaborative. Students are usually divided into small groups and encouraged to work together to maximize their own learning as well as the others in the group. Activities can include children reading their work aloud to each other critiquing and editing each other's writing, projects, using flashcards to help each other study, spelling words or multiplication tables, and working together on a larger project such as a science experiment, a history presentation, or the analysis of a social problem. So for the next differences, the traditional students are factual thinkers who are most likely to be concerned with actual details or information rather than ideas or feelings about it. Statistics on whether over the past five years is an example of factual information. While in the, the students during the 21st century, 
critical, creative, and reflective thinking. Or they are critical, creative, and reflective thinkers. It, in, it encompasses a set of abilities that students use to examine their own thinking and that of others. This involves making judgments based on reasoning where students consider options, analyze options using specific criteria, and draw conclusions. So I'm Nolly Marks, yes. Next, unilateral thinkers. In traditional education, students tend to think and make a decision without consulting their peers. They think independently and build learnings on their own. While in the divergent thinkers, 21st century learners tend to generate many ideas, ideas by exploring many possible solutions. Using divergent thinking, students deconstruct a topic into parts and then generate as many creative, original, and varied production as possible. Next, an active process of learning. In traditional education, listening to an expert or watching a video and taking down notes are examples of passive learning, or also called as inactive learning. While in the dynamic process of learning, students in 21st century and development are not static but, I, but a dynamic process which involves and it's influenced by cognitive, affective, and psychomotor stimuli. Hi guys, my name is Jason D. Iguera. Next is, in traditional education, learners are dependent. Dependent learners are rely on teachers to tell them what is important, as well as what needs to be done and when. They like focus and tend to prefer learning in larger groups because such settings require a more structured and formal approach. Note that being a dependent learner doesn't mean being intellectually dependent. It's more that we prefer material to be presented to us in an organized and structured way rather than being asked to seek it out or build it with others. Well, in the 21st century, students are self-managing learners who work to solve their own problems, including those related to classroom management and student conflicts, independent learners usually do very well in online courses because online courses require students to learn more independently than traditional courses. Also, college courses in general reward independent learners. So as college students mature, they generally lean toward a more independent learning style. Next is the single taskers. Students in traditional education are may not be flashy, but they get things done as long as you give them space to create and to engage. While in the 21st century, that's Students in 21st century are multitaskers, are not dividing their attention equally to tasks. Instead, their focus rapidly shifts between the tasks. Next is the single sensory input. Students are single sensory input provider, cannot combine two or more senses. Once they use their one sense, students will focus only in this single sense. While in the 21st century, students use uses multiple senses in learning. In relation to it, in multi-sensory activities are based in whole brain learning, which is the belief that the best, best way to teach concepts is by involving multiple areas in the brain, by adding auditory or visual components to reading assignments, like illustrations or online activities. You can help students develop stronger literacy skills. So that's all for the differences between the roles of students between the early generation and the 21st century. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow the following accounts below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time for more educational videos. Bye!